In this tutorial, I'll show you how to change colors, invert, and change the intensity of textures using Photoshop. There are two ways to do this, either to use an adjustment layer by clicking one of these icons here, or going here and selecting the adjustment layer you want to create, or applying the, the adjustment straight onto the image. From here, image, adjustments, brightness, contrast, or hue, saturation. The thing is, when you apply it from here, whatever that you do, gets applied to it and you don't have it as a layer that you can turn on and off. So I'm going to undo that and I prefer to work with layers, which can be hidden or deleted at any time. So the first thing I'm going to do is show you how to change the color. I'll use the hue saturation adjustment layer and simply by moving the slider here you can see how the color is changing. We also have a saturation slider which controls how saturated it is. As I take it down, it becomes more gray and white, black and white. And as I raise it, the colors become much stronger. Now what the lightness does, as you raise it, it becomes more washed out and more whitish. And as you lower it, it becomes darker. Now there's also a colorize button. And what colorize does, if you click it, it overlays that color onto the whole texture. So for example, if I raise the saturation and we're here in this pink, everything becomes this kind of pink color and there are no other tones and hues. Like if I had colorize off and I went to make it pink, you can see there's lighter pink, there's reddish colors. And if it was a texture with many more varied colors, then you'd see other tones and other hues there as well. Like here you can see red and yellow and orange, whereas if I colorized it, it would just be either yellow or orange or red. In fact, with the colorize button on, you can see here are the original colors, and then this is what they're mapped to. And if I turn that off and move my my um, thing around the place, you can see that this red becomes more orange, this blue becomes more pink, and now the red becomes more green, and all these colors, you can see this one is pinkish and the yellow is more bluish. And if you want to bring it back to default, just click the reset button or go here to default. There are also a few presets that you can try out. And you can also control individual channels. So if you want to change the reds, then just go on the reds and you can see everything else stays the same and just the reds are changing. Here's a better example with more varied colors. And if I go to red, you can see just the red parts are changing on the yellows. Just those yellow parts in here are changing. And on the science, just the science are changing. Now when we're on science, for instance, you can see down here, there's this little selection thing. And that's selecting the color range that you want to change. So if we increase that, you can see that we're having more colors, not just the science selected, especially if we increase it even more. And if we decrease it, then we're just going to have this part of the blues changing. We can also make custom selections of what areas we want to change. So if I go to reds, for instance, and then I take my picker here and I pick this red, I can add to the selection, pick this red area here too, this area. And if I want to remove a certain red tone from it, I can click with this, with this tool. And then as I change the colors, you can see that the red areas are changing and the rest is staying the same. All right, so now let's take a look at how to change the brightness and contrast of a texture. So this is the first button, brightness, contrast. You can just raise the brightness to make it brighter or lower it to make it darker. And you can raise the contrast to make it more intense, the difference between the lights and the darks. And to delete this layer, you can click here or hit the delete 
key on your keyboard. Then there's the levels, which I prefer to use more than brightness and contrast. And this is the dark areas, this is the midtones, and this is the light areas. So as we move the darks up, you can see that this sort of a bit washed out background becomes darker. And we can also move this middle slider more towards the darks or more towards the lights. And by just moving these points, we can bring in more of the light. And by moving this dark one closer, we can bring in more of the darks. And if you want to reset it, you can click this button here. If you want to hide it to see what it was before and after, you can just click this button here or this one here. Now with these three pickers here, this is to select the white in your image, this is to select the grey tones, and this is to select the blacks. Now if you don't have an image of white, grey and black, you can still sometimes get quite interesting results just by using these pickers to select the highlights, lightest parts in your image. And then you can still use this slider here to manipulate it further. You can also go into individual channels, like to make the red darker or lighter, or to make the greens brighter or darker. And then you can go to RGB to control the overall brightness of all the different channels together. To collapse it, click this icon here. And if you want to get back into the settings, you can just double click it here. Now there's also curves, so let's hide the levels and bring up the curves. I'm not very good at using curves, but some people prefer that than using the levels. Basically, you add some points by clicking and then you manipulate those points to make it darker or lighter, similar to using the levels. And you can also move the slider here around, or this one here. And create some really interesting kind of results. I'm going to delete this adjustment layer. Then you also have exposure that you can play with. Raise the exposure or lower it. Change the offset or gamma correction. As well as use this to pick the lights in your image and this darks, similar to the levels. And you can also go into the different presets and play with the settings to get the effect that you want. Now, if you want to bring more vibrance into your image, then this is really good for that. You can raise the vibrance here. You can raise the saturation. And if you lower the vibrance, it becomes more grayscale. And if you raise it, it becomes more vibrant. Then there is color balance and black and white, which simply makes it black and white. And there's also photo filters, you can choose from different presets. And if you don't see an effect, you might need to raise the density. And it sort of changes the color, almost like the, the hue saturation. You can choose a different color from here. Choose, and by changing the density, you can control how much that color tints the texture. If you turn off preserve luminosity, then it's not preserving the luminosity. And you can see it has a different effect in it. There are some other options too, but I'm not going to get into all of those now. I'm going to show you one last one, which is the invert. So if I click that, you can see that my texture becomes inverted. 
And if I add this, the hue saturation layer on top of that, we can change the color of this inverted texture. And we can also add the levels if we wanted to. Or we could put the levels before the invert. And you can see it has a different effect. Turning off the hue saturation, we get this pink texture. And turning off the levels, we get this greenish one. And turning off the invert, we get the one that we started with. So I hope that helps you with some basics how to change color, invert, and change intensity of textures in Photoshop. And see you in the next tutorials. Thanks for watching! Subscribe for more tutorials and like and share with your friends to show your support.